Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to introduce you to the Mini to Poly module which has been recently added to Drumbo. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so I've just initialized a new project. So let's click on the plus sign and let's go under Mixer and let's scroll right at the bottom. And you can see um, around Poly 2 Mono, Mono to Polo, you have also many to Poly. Okay, as a, a standalone module, it will not do much. So we need to add something that uh, enables to actually give many signals into the many to poly module to then convert into a single one. Okay, so let's add something like from the miscellaneous utility and there is something which works really, really well with it and uh, it is the knobs uh, uh, module. So in this case, we have only one uh, knob and let's connect it to the many to poly uh, module. Then let's add an oscillator, so plus, generator we're going to add an oscillator and also an amplitude envelope okay pretty standard okay perfect now of course if i change the dial nothing happens because there's no con connectivity established so let's connect the tune of the oscillator to the main to poly like so. Now let's change the, uh, let's reset this and let's change the first knob as we uh, play some notes and let's make the influence of mini to poly on the tune something like that. Okay, a quarter. Oh, around a quarter. Okay, that sounds nice. So, but what else can we do with the main to poly uh, module? Well, okay, so let me show you what happens now if uh, I add a second knob, like so. Of course, nothing at the moment. Let me connect it to the main to poly module. And again, nothing happens, but watch now what happens. Let me. Uh, reset these to zero and let's change the number of voices to two okay at the moment nothing but let's uh, move the dial the first dial down so we have a, a low tone so it's alternating now between the two dials okay because you have two different tones so let's in, um, demonstrate this changing the second knob or dial to a higher pitch Okay, and let's add some notes here, so I don't have to play them all the time, and let's click play. So you, as you can see, it's alternating. Um, you have two voices coming in, it's alternating uh, the tone from the two dials going into the main to poly module, which then is changing the tune. So it's quite nice, you can create sequences like this which is really nice. Now, let me show you what else happens if I add three voices, okay, but I still keep two dials, okay? So it's practically adding another um, note, which, uh, or change in terms of tone, which is the standard, okay, E2 in this case. Now, if I put these to four as a voices, it's going to start to duplicate some of the voices because it doesn't have enough uh, knobs connected. So it's repeating uh, this tone here with the setting on the first knob twice and still adding a standard A2 and then the note which is changed as a tone from the second knob, okay? So let me add now um, four knobs and let's make the right connectivity like so. And let's have a little bit of fun. So let's say this is quite low. This the second one goes a little bit above. This the third one, and we leave it like that. And then the fourth one up like that. So we have like a scale in terms of tones. Nice. And let's increase the number of notes. Okay. 
Okay, perfect. Let's add uh, something else, like for example, a filter. Okay, and let's drive the filter from the menu to poly. Okay, and let's increase the influence here. Nice. And again, you can have even more fun. So let me show you. Let's add, for example, under modulator and mini LFO. Let's drive, for example, the lower note from the LFO. And um, let's decrease a little bit the frequency. We want it to go only up, so no bipolar. Let's make it a triangle, like so. Increase the influence. Let's try. course you can add um, other things so why not let's add another LFO let's have even more fun on the top note this time right so let's connect it to LFO 2 and this time we go up and down why not decrease a little bit the frequency like so and now even better, let's add maybe under processor, um, no, no, a filter, we already have a filter. Let's add something like uh, um, a chorus, and then let's also add something like a reverb. nice and why not let's add some uh, delay as well as an effect so delay effect so as you can hear i created a nice little um well set up using the menu to poly a module but and the knobs module but also a lot of other and modules inside Drumbo. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this introduction to the Many to Poly module, and as always, see you next time. Bye.